नमस्कार मस्तो प्रिया शुरुआत वेलनेस एंड योगा सेंटर रावती दर्शन टेलीविजन का संयुक्त प्रस्तुति और उरुदाय योगा को दूसरों भाग में यह रुलाई हार्दिक स्वागत कर दसु आज हमें तपे हरुलाई दूसरों भाग में योगा का विभिन्न आसन हरु प्रस्तुत करने सो अब लागू योगा तरफ अनोदा योगा विल बी अ सीरीज ऑफ programs comprises of comprising of the different yogasanas practices around the breath practice of the advanced meditation techniques we will follow the stangic yogic path to conclude around the end of each program how one should start doing the practices of yoga from home the most important thing is to understand how we will get ahead with this series of our node yoga program each three episodes will comprise of a module which will give you a lesson plan which you should try to do at least for an hour daily at your home we'll feel very glad to present you the first episode of our node yoga how the pro- practice of yoga should start is very important to understand we all know that uh, we are just comprising of this body and the breath so the awareness around these two things are very important so the first task that any individual should do before doing the practice of yoga is this let's start our practice from the awareness and prayer first just sit comfortably in your comfortable position the way you are comfortable it could be the position of padmasan it could be the position of ard padmasan or it could be the position of sukhasan the way you are comfortable you should sit in you should sit in that position after making yourself comfortable just hands at rest over your knees face with minimal contraction chin slightly down and the eyes closed first just try to be still body with minimal movements after staying still for some time just try to disconnect your awareness from the outer world and try to confine it towards your inside to feel your own body one time just try to feel the presence of your head your own neck your hands right hand left hand feel the presence of the front and the back part of your trunk and then your legs right leg left leg after feeling your whole body one time just locate how your body is breathing and try to follow the path of your inhalation and exhalation for some time preparing your mind and your body for the yogic practices we will starting our practice we'll chant gayatri mantra for two times you could join a palm in namaskar mudra thumb touching the body get ready om bhura bhuva swaha om tat savitur vare nam हरे गो देवी धियो यो न प्रचोदया भूरभुव स्व ओ तत्सुर्वरे न 
भर्गो देवस्यधीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदया शांते 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 टेक अ डीप प्रद इन एंड वाइल एक्जेलिंग जेंटली ओपन अप your eyes now after finishing our prayer awareness of the body and breath let's start our practice the first thing that we should do before starting the practice of yoga is to make the flow of blood uniform throughout the body we'll practice supta tadasan for that the first sukshma vyayam we'll do will be for the legs these practices actually delve deep into the bones if you will pay attention gradually with the daily practices you could understand the delicacies of your different asanas or the posture practices just start the practice of sukshma vyayam first legs both of them close toe heels close hands over your waist leg stretched trunk stretches abdomen slightly in now slowly raise your right leg or right foot towards the front keep it straight toe pointing away towards the ground and then rotate it in one direction for some time 1 2 3 4 opposite direction 1 2 3 4 and five and take the right leg back the same practice with your left leg body rightly in the preparatory position toe heels close hand close with the body abdomen slightly in leg stretched now raise your left leg towards the front left leg front toe pointing towards the ground and rotation of your ankle joint towards one direction five times one to slowly gently not to be in much hurry while doing these rotations and towards the opposite direction five times count on your own and stay within the experience of your legs the right leg sensing or giving you the balance left leg working around the ankle joint slowly take the left leg back now we'll work around our hands with some sukshma vyayam practices legs still close hands ahead raise both of your hands up to the level of your shoulder hands stretched away from the body now close your fist and keeping your attention around the right hand slowly go on rotating your ankle joint for 5 times your rest for five times sorry as much as you could do maximum possible rotation and after doing it for five times towards the opposite direction 1 2 3 4 opposite hand 1 2 and when you are rotating try to feel what is happening from your wrist up to your elbow joint and in turn from your elbow joint up to the shoulder joint something is happening try to sense it and after doing it for five times just spread your hands open up your palm change palm palm facing the sky hands stretched away leg stretched abdomen in the preparatory position is very important take care of it and then just pen and take palm above your shoulder joint and get ready to rotate your shoulder joint for some time slowly and gently just rotate shoulder or take sh- the elbow joint towards the front creating a big zero then take the elbows down 
and rotating the shoulder joint again your elbows getting close just from the front of your face and then getting your elbows down rotate this for five seven times get your hands ready for your practices and after doing it for five seven times you should try to do it towards the opposite side get ready to do it towards the opposite direction elbows down first then up elbows down then first up elbows down then second up elbows down and then second up and get back to the center after doing rotation for five seven times open up your palm hand change palm and gradually your hand back by the side of the body loose up your legs hands be at ease for some time now we'll do the practices lying on our abdomen the first practice that we'll do will be the bhujanga asan for the breath or for improving the capacity of the lung then we'll do the practice of salab asan which will work around the disorders of the pelvic region and around the lower back and then we'll do the chaturang dandasan which works as a nadi shodhan practice which actually used to do the internal cleansing from the different veins arteries nerves okay then we'll start with the practice of bhujang asan lie down on your abdomen lie down on your abdomen joint palm head over it spread the legs at the back ankle inside body at ease the first thing to do is to relax yourself and then get ready legs close palm close with the body elbow pointing towards the sky yes your hands very close with the body now have a space of around 6 8 inches between your toes at the back or between your legs 6 8 inches gap yes. some gap shanta some more gap ranjana gap between your foot okay and then slowly pressing your palm try to raise your head neck trunk up as much as possible for example elbow bend not to keep your elbow straight raksha elbow bend and look up towards the sky the gaze must be all the time up never down because with these practices we are sounding the expansion of our strength so gaze all the time with these yogic practices upward towards the sky gradually drop your head back towards the ground forehead resting on the ground palm close with the body in the same preparatory position supriya hand close with the body yes now close your legs legs both of them close toe heels touching each other forehead on the ground take rest for some seconds in this preparatory position these positions of bhujang asan actually works around the upper part of the trunk improving the capacity of your lung it has all the potential to cure your breathing disorders you need to spend some time with it with the understanding then it will surely happen for you before doing the position of bhujang asan earlier we also did a variation of bhujang asan this position is quite more close as per said in the scriptures of yoga gently pressing your palm towards the ground raise your head neck trunk up look up towards the sky legs close at the back toe touching each other toe resting on the ground gaze upward all the time not to raise the body body should be on the ground legs close at the back 
gaze upward towards the sky and go on breathing slowly gently feeling the movement of air around your lungs getting the air getting in the air leaving your lungs check or pay attention to the experiences coming towards your hands from palm up to the shoulder joint go on traveling inwards and the way to that to do that is to keep track of your breath while you are into the position and gradually drop your head back towards the ground join palm your head over it spread the legs at the back take rest for some time join palm and your head over it like supriya is doing just take rest after working around the lungs the next position that we will do will be the salab asan and this practice has the potential to attain or to attend the disorders of the lower back and to cure the disorders of the whole of the pelvic region you could spend time around a minute to 3 minutes while doing these practices but before when you are starting it for the first time do it with caution with understanding for 20 seconds 30 seconds and then gradually build up the practices get ready for the practice of salavasan legs close hand close with the body close feast under your thighs close feast under your thighs palm closed and under your thighs yes chin on the ground now slowly keeping your legs straight just raise right leg up to 1 feet from the ground just 1 feet just some Legs still. Gradually, your right leg back towards the ground. Left leg up to one feet from the ground. Knee straight, toe pointing away. Only you could customize the position as per your need when there are some problems within the body. If you are fit, if you are fine, just force yourself to perform the closest position. Just some seconds. gradually your left leg back towards the ground we'll again repeat the same practice but this time we'll try to raise our leg as much as possible get ready slowly gently right leg up from the ground as much as you could do chin still on the ground and while holding this position try to sense what is happening while you are inhaling and exhaling you could feel some sort of movement from your right toe up to your right thigh and in turn some force spreading all around the pelvic region while you are doing your abdominal contraction with the position gradually drop right leg back towards legs still close at the back slowly keeping your chin on the ground try to raise your left leg up as much as possible and while holding the position you should keep track of the breath you should keep track of the abdominal contraction happening with each of your exhalation just stay with your exhalation till you could hold this position the position is hugely working around the lower back and the disorders of the pelvic area taking more blood around that area or region of your body gradually drop your left leg back towards the ground draw your palm outside join your palm put your head over it and take rest for some time for it over your palm joint palm spread the legs at the back make yourself most comfortable and be at ease the more 
most important is this part of your practice when you are taking rest time to absorb the effects so never to omit or leave this part of your practice not to be in much hurry while doing the position back to back take rest let the body absorb the effects let it be ready for the further practices now the next position that we'll do in the yoga scriptures it is called as the chaturanga dandasan where the weight of the body will be over your palm and will be over your toes get ready to do the practice of chaturanga dandasan it serves as the practice of nadi shodhan cleansing the nerves arteries spread all over the body how to do that first lie down on your abdomen if you find problem just look towards me how to do the first thing is the preparatory position legs together at the back forehead your palm on the ground forehead on the ground now first change the position of your toe keep your toe on the ground with a gap of around 6 <clears> 8 inches now first you should stretch the legs your knee will leave the ground and pressing your palm just try to lift your body few inches 3 4 inches above the ground body must be straight and you could look towards the ground or towards the tip of your nose sensing the abdominal contraction the position is difficult if you find the position difficult there is another way to do this position just you should try to press for example if you are here just stretch the legs and try to press palm towards the side and lift abdomen just drag abdomen inward or contract the navel area inward you still will feel the heat of this practice but if you could lift the body few inches above the ground that's better and just look towards the tip of the nose gradually drop your head back knee back towards the ground joint palm put your head over it spread the legs ankle inwards body completely at ease just rest and this much was what we were supposed to cover before this second episode and as always the sequence of the practices will be first prayer before that awareness of the body then the practices of asanas and after resting for some time we should end the session with the chanting of sit straight comfortably hands at rest around your knees chin slightly down minimal contraction over your face and make up your mind chant om the way it is coming from your inside followed by an inhalation each time keep the voice mild and try to listen your own chant
Raum. Then take a breath deep in and while exhaling gently open up your eyes. Thank you so much. धन्यवाद दर्शक बीन आज हमें ले और उन्होंने दया योगा को दूसरों भाग में यहाँ रुलाई योगा का विभिन्न पांच और आसन हर प्रस्तुत करेगा थियो रा आज का हमरा योग गुरु विशाल सर लाई पनी देरी देरी धन्यवाद तो पहले हर रुले और उन्होंने दया योगा वक्ति दर्शन साले विजन के यूट्यूब मार्फत पनी ये नस्ता कुन्हने ऐसा तो पहले हर को दिन सुबह 